In Creel Parametric, you can perform structural, thermal, and modal analysis using Creel ANSYS simulation. Like the name implies, that's the power of ANSYS, including multi-physics, within Creel Parametric. Let's take a look at how to enter Creo ANSYS simulation, but in the interest of disambiguation, I want to mention a couple ways that you do not enter Creo ANSYS simulation. First off, we have a tab here called Live Simulation, and when I click on it, that takes me into Creo Simulation Live, which is also powered by ANSYS, but this is a real-time design assistant that will show you the results of structural, thermal, and modal analysis in real time so you can see the changes as you make modifications to your model. But this is not Creo ANSYS simulation. Next up, we can go to the Applications tab, and there is a button here called Simulate, and this button brings you into Creo Simulate, which is a different version of finite element analysis called geometric element analysis, and this was known as Mechanica previously, and even Rasna before that. To get into Creo ANSYS simulation, you will click on the icon next to it, which says ANSYS simulation. And so when I click on it, it's going to take me into Creo ANSYS simulation. By default, I have a structural model here, and you have the ability to click on the Add Study button, and when you do that, you can choose to add a study. You get a dialog box where you can choose the kind of study. So here we have structure, but if I want to create a thermal analysis, I will choose that and then click next. And I will choose the finish button to use automatic context detection. It's doing a little bit of work. Now we have our thermal study started. There is a little green icon, a little green diamond next to the name of the study, indicating that this is the current active one. If you take a look at my ribbon, here we have our thermal boundary conditions like prescribed temperatures, convection, and radiation. And also we have loads like heat flow, heat flux, and heat generation. Let's take a look at the third kind of study. I will click on the Add Study button and then choose Add Study again. And this time I will choose a modal analysis and then click the next button. And once again, I will use automatic context detection since this is an assembly. And now we have our modal st study started and it has the same green diamond next to it now indicating that it is the active analysis. With a modal analysis, you can define constraints, although you can also run an unconstrained modal analysis. But let me double click on structure, make it the active analysis. And when you are performing a structural analysis, well, you're going to have constraints like fixed constraints and enforced displacement, which will actually create a load in the model. And from the support dropdown, you can create planar, cylindrical, ball, and frictionless constraints. From the loads area, you can create forces, pressures, moments, bearing loads, gravity loads, centrifugal loads, temperature loads, and linear acceleration. So that is how you can get into Creo ANSYS simulation for setting up your different studies.